Welcome to our lecture online. Now in this example, we need to be very careful because we could do something that might not give us all the solutions we're looking for, all the possible solutions. So here we have the quantity 3x times x plus 5 set equal to 10 times x plus 5. And you take a look at that and go, well, maybe I can divide both sides by the common factor of x plus 5. So what I could do is I can do the following. I can divide the left side by x plus 5. I can divide the right side by x plus 5. So essentially I've divided both sides by the same quantity. Can I not do that? Well, if I do that, I get the following. I get 3x is equal to 10, which means that if I then divide both sides by uh, 3, I get x equals 10 third. And there we go. Is that correct? Well, we can check by plugging that back into the original equation. So let's see what we get. So we have 3 times uh, 10 divided by 3 multiplied times 10 divided by 3 plus 5. Is that question mark equal to 10 times? That would be 10 divided by 3 plus 5. Well, uh, what I can do here is the 3's cancel out, so I get 10 times on the common denominator, I get 10 over 3 plus 15 over 3. Is that question mark equal to 10 times? That would be 10 over 3 plus 15 over 3. And clearly, you can see that the left side equals the right side, so we did indeed find the correct solution. So what's wrong? Well, whenever you divide an equation by some factor or some combination of its variable, you may eliminate a possible solution. So by doing this, we have what we call eliminated the second solution. Eliminated the second solution. And so we should not do what we did. Not a good method. So do not do that. Instead, let's try this. So here we'll, we'll rewrite the problem. 3x times x plus 5 is equal to 10 times x plus 5. And instead, we're going to move the left side to the right side or the right side to the left side. It doesn't really matter. So we can do that. 3x times x plus 5 minus 10 times x plus 5 equal to 0. Now what I can do instead, instead of eliminating things, I can factor out a common factor. So the common factor here and here would be x plus 5. So this gives me x plus 5 times what's remaining. Here we have a 3x and here we have a minus 10 equals, whoop, not 1 but 0. Now I have the product of two binomials. When I multiply them, I get 0 which means that either x plus 5 is equal to 0 or 3x minus 10 is equal to 0, which means in this case, x equals negative 5, and in this case, I can write that 3x equals 10 or x equals 10 thirds. Notice that was one of the solutions that I got over here, but now I also have the other solution, and that one disappeared by doing something I normally should not do, is divide both sides by some combination of the variable that we're looking for. So don't do it like this, do it like this instead. And that is how it's done.